I wanted to put together a quick demo showing how to create a just a quick dashboard that has one uh, like let's just say a, a, a pie chart or some chart control the um, the content of a table that's that maybe is next to it or below it. So a little little bit of a, a drill down type of example. So let me show you what that looks like. So log into JasperSoft. And we're going to first go to View Repository. And in my examples, I want to add a quick folder. You don't have to do this, but I just realized it'd be good to organize this. Uh, drill down example. Okay, cool. And now we're going to go and create an ad hoc view. We will use the good old Supermart domain. She's known to love, or learn to love, or I don't know, maybe you don't love it. But that is the data that we'll start working with. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the chart. Okay, this is going to control the second or more than one visualization. I'm only going to create two, the, the master and the, uh, the parent and the child. But you could have lots of children, and um, you'll see how that works uh, in just a moment. So let's go, we're making a chart. What kind of chart? Let's go and make a uh, chart type. We'll make a pie chart. And we wanna take a look at, um, what do we wanna look at? Let's take a look at the store type. And let's take a look at the store uh, count in general, like the number of stores. So one easy way to do that is just take some string and right click and add it as a measure. Okay, store name. You can even, um, you know, mess around with that. But we use this here now as a as a, a number. See, count all. So it's going to count all the stores. And we're going to now go and break it down by type. Okay, so we're counting all the stores because there's a store every single uh, row in the database in this table anyway has um a store and we're going to just divvy it up by type okay so here are our different types that's it that's that's the first one i'll give it a nice little title we'll call it store type pie chart and there we go and we're going to save this ad hoc view. In uh, public samples, my samples, drill down example, and we'll call it store type uh, pie chart view. Let's save it. Okay, that's the first one. So now we're going to go over here and create another ad hoc view. Let's use SuperMart again. Okay. Pick my sales data. This one we're going to do a table. So let's pick table. And we're going to pick the store name. Now we are going to add the store type in here. Now, I'm only adding the store type here so that you can see that it's actually working. You wouldn't put the store type here because that's why you're doing this, to click on the slice and you know that you're looking at the right type. But for you to actually visually, visually see this thing working, we're going to do that. All right, and let's just put some, uh, some region information in here just so it has a, it's kind of wide and looks kind of neat. All right? So there we go. In fact, let's also just put this there. So it's, I mean, it's going to be blatantly clear that we have the right type. Now, here's what's important. Right now, there's no filter for any of this data, but we want to apply a filter to it. So you can do it in a lot of different ways. I'm going to right click on store type and create filter. Okay. And it's going to have to equal a certain store type. We'll start this out with um, deluxe supermarket. Doesn't make a difference. We'll do apply. Okay. Only the deluxe supermarket ones are going to be on the screen from the beginning. This is going to be store information table. All right. 
and let's go and save this ad hoc view. Store information table view. Public samples. Dun, ba -dun, ba -dun. Drill that example. Okay, cool. So we've got two visualizations. Now let's go create a dashboard. All right, first thing we're going to do, well, I'm going to change this to a folder view because I, I know exactly what these things are. Samples, my samples, drill down. And let's bring out our chart. There's the pie chart. Beautiful. Let's pull this table out. And we'll put it to the side. All right, there's our table. All right, we can maybe uh, move this over a little bit just to maybe give this a little bit more room. Okay, fine. Now, if we leave it like this, it's not going to do a darn thing. It's just it's going to be what it's going to be. All right, what we want to do is have this control that. So you're going to come over here to the pie, right click on the pie, and go to properties. And then you're going to go to the hyperlinks tab. Notice this is on an ad hoc view. This only works off an ad hoc view. If this view was a report and you were going off the report, it wouldn't be the same. You need to have it with an ad hoc view over here. Click on hyperlinks, enable the chart hyperlinks. We want to have it update the dashboard. Okay, you could have it go to another page if you want, but we don't want to do that. Based on this visualization, I see that we have two parameters available, the measure, the count, the store count, I could pass it if I want, and the store type, this is really the one I care about here. Let's create these links, click on yes, and here is my filter manager. And the filter manager simply says, okay, look, when you click on a slice of the pie, you've got these two parameters that can be passed to something. What do you want to do with them? I want to take store type and guess what? I want to pass it to the store information table dashlet. So I'm going to go over here to store type and say yes, I want to add something to be affected. What dashlet do I want to take? Well, I only have one to pick from. What do I want to be affected in this dashlet? I want the store type to be affected. Click on OK. If I put it in preview mode. Remember, default is going to be Deluxe Supermarket. Now I'm going to go to Supermarket. Okay. Uh, small Grocery. Okay, you can make sure it's working. Right? Look at the number. See, totals four, totals eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, right, Deluxe. Okay, so everything's working just fine. And that's how you wire together two individual items. I can now take this dashboard and save it, and I can say uh, drill down dashboard example. Put it in here to my same location as everything else. Save, close, view, repo. Here are my examples. Here's my drill down example. And here's my dashboard. I can click right onto it, go to my dashboard, deluxe, click, the click, and I'm now controlling something else. Hope this video was informative and you are able to now make visualizations and drill downs of your own. Thank you very much.